Hey, what's up guys? It's Barbara Bote and I'm back on your screen with another video. I know what you're thinking. Where is my makeup? Where is the final look? Well, today I decided I'm not giving y'all the preview. Y'all gotta watch me from the start to the end. I'm just gonna do it, you know, just wanna switch it up and do it this way. Today, I am going to be demoing and reviewing this Frankation palette by Desi and Katie. I had this palette for like almost two weeks. I'm bugging. Be here. Woo! This packaging, this packaging. Boy, this rolls gold. And you see my background is matching. I only got this from the collection. I actually got one of the highlighters for my best friend as part of her birthday gift. So this palette, this is how it looks. So this palette, this is how it looks. My entire green shade fell out. Oh no. I didn't do this for the video. I promise I didn't do this for the video. Oh my God. It's all over the floor. So when I got this palette, when I went to, I went to Ulta as I was coming out, I made the girl check it in the store. I was like, you know, just to make sure that none of the shades were broken and none of them were broken. Then I got to my car and I opened it up and this green shade, Dirty Money, was like cracking and coming out of the palette a little bit. I'll insert the video um, of me um, in my Instagram story showing you guys how um, it was cracking and I was like, what the heck? Guys, this palette is $55. And the same thing happened with my highlighter, Mirame. Can I take it back? I'm gonna make this video and whatever. And I promise you that's like one of the best colors in this palette and it completely crumbled. So yeah, I can't hold up the palette. I'm, I'm gonna just have to do the photos. I'm gonna do like I always do and take my Urban Decay Primer Potion, Color Eden. Great base. I'm putting my base on. I'm not sure where the camera cut off. I was just saying how Y'all can't really come on camera saying certain eyeshadows are not pigmented and this and that if you're not using the proper bases for your eyeshadows. I'm taking the color Churro. It's like a light brown. It almost kind of looks like my skin tone. Oh, never mind. I lied. I'm using a Sedona Lace fluffy brush. I'm gonna take it like three quarters of the way and I'm patting first and then blending it. It's kind of doing a thing. Like it's showing up a little darker. I keep looking to the side because my camera keeps stopping and I'm like, this is clearly not my day. Like, my eyeshadow wanna break. My thing keep on freaking. And I'm going to take a flatter brush. This is the, um, an elf brush. I'm gonna take that matte. It looks like a peachy pink. It's called basic. Hmm. It's gonna be my highlight. Brow bone highlight. You know what? This is a nice color because it's not ashy. Usually colors like this are ashy on my skin tone. That had churro on it, add a little bit more of churro. This is the Morphe M504. And I'm gonna take the color Cheese. So yeah, I'm trying to put this in my crease here. I don't know, this one doesn't really show up as the brownie color that it shows up in the palette. It's showing more as a very dark brown. You gonna work with it though. Am I gonna have to take this back? 
Cause stuff is not going right. How come whenever I blend this, it shows up as a totally different color? Whenever I start blending really hard like that, it turns into a whole different color. I'm going to try to cut my crease. I'm using a Morphe M432, a flat brush, and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 45. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this primer potion with the concealer. Alright, so now that I finally have both creases cut, this is how it looks. I'm gonna go back with jeans. I'm gonna pat that on the outer corner of the crease, the cut crease. I'm using a Bedellium Tool 776. Uh, there is quite a bit of kickback. I'm not even gonna lie to you, these eyeshadows are not blending for me. I don't know what's going on. I truly don't know. I know my brushes are clean. I cleaned them last night. Not only that, the eyeshadow colors change. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna take this elf brush. Let me black base oh gosh that's very pretty oh my that is very pretty wow I'm gonna take a small smaller brush and use a moment this is like a iridescent purple and blue these shimmers boy They are just giving me life. These shimmers actually have no fallout. I'm gonna go and say, go ahead and say these mattes are horrible. Yep, I said it. That's insane. Going all over my legs. I honestly wish that I used other palettes and not their mattes because now my eyeshadow looks crazy. Yeah, I'm not using no more of these mattes. So I'm going back into Game Over. And I'm going to use that as my outer corner over all the other colors I put down. Honestly, in reality, I don't know how many looks could you possibly do with this just one palette. Especially with the mattes being basura. I mean, I guess this is a good kind of palette. I feel like this this is the this palette is just like their other one where you have to pair it with other palettes. You can't just think you're gonna use this on its own because the other one was all shimmers. Right? You see how, like, literally, I keep putting that color down and it just is disappearing. It's annoying.
So I took the gold champagne color, put on my brow bone. Cause it's like, I don't know what else to do. These shimmers, I'm not gonna lie, they're beautiful. I'm gonna do eyeliner, mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Define Aligner. I'm going to go get some white eyeliner and I'm going to have a line right here. I'm using the NYX uh, white liquid liner in the color white. So these are the lashes I'm about to put on. And I'm gonna use my dual lash glue part usually. Hold on, I just realized something. What's the difference between this one and the other one that's <laughs> they literally look like the same shade? Anyway, as I'm waiting for my lashes to get tacky, I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm gonna use the roller lash. If you ever wonder why I don't put um, mascara on my upper lashes, I just don't do it when I'm going to wear fake lashes because I don't see the point, number one. Number two, I feel like it makes it more difficult to put the lashes on. I'm going to do my highlighter. I'm going to use the Mirror May highlighter from the old collection. These high, the new collect, new highlighters look very similar to the old ones, so I was like, I don't really need to buy that. Plus, I love this highlighter from the old collection. Can't show you it; it's broken. Seems to be a thing. For my lip, I'm using my same eyeliner, the Maybelline one. The last thing I'm gonna do is put my lip color on. I am so sleepy, guys. It's midnight. This is a very old ColourPop color called Jellies. Pretty looks good on. Okay, so guys, this is the final look. Overall, I pulled it off. I'm not that impressed by this palette. Um, I had such high hopes for it, but the mattes just don't deliver for me. So it makes it almost frustrating that I spent $55 on it and for it to, the mattes didn't want to blend. Like when I put, like all these mattes just turned into one color. I, I don't understand. They all turned into a gray. On the shimmers, without a doubt, gorgeous, beautiful, no fallout. Like, do you see, that's just like one eyeshadow stealing the entire show. And y'all just saw what happened with the 
new money color the whole thing shattered and i never even got to use it i mean they're going to go back and see if they can get me give me a new one or just try to get my money back because it's not worth having a whole palette where i can't use the mats like so if you enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked it uh subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you guys in the next one bye